Hello, my name is Nathan Gipfried, and welcome to our project presentation, Simulation Software for Geothermal Power Plant. The goal of this project was to optimize the efficiency of industrial geothermal pipelines in order to maximize profitability of the operation. Next, Joe Stevens will talk about the results and analysis. Thanks for the introduction, Nate. Geothermal power plants have long had trouble with scaling and deposition of heavy metals in their pipelines. This plagues them with high costs from cleaning the pipes and maintaining high pressure scenarios on the pumps for their injection lines. Our simulation allows scaling to be accounted for accurately along the pipe and opens up new doors for alternative piping solutions to be tested and compared. Utilizing MATLAB, we designed a code to factor in pressure drops from friction, minor losses, and varying pipe diameters. An accurate simulation was created to analyze the efficiency of the pipe material and its susceptibility to scale buildup. These results are based on empirical pressure values and pipe path from the Hudson Ranch geothermal power plant in the Salton Sea. The figure in the top left illustrates the path of the pipe. The figure in the top right denotes the changes in enthalpy, pressure, density, and temperature against the length of the pipe. The simulated scale buildup along the pipe is shown in the bottom three figures. These illustrate how scale develops in a cross-section along the profile of the pipe. Pictured are low, medium, and high pressure scenarios from the Hudson Ranch plant. Scale profile was determined to be increasing with regards to the pressure drop, and from our findings, we were able to develop a growth rate model of the scale in the pipe. Next, I will hand this off to Christopher Gard and Tra Travis Ryan, who will explain how they utilize this growth rate model to determine the cleanout frequency. Thanks, Joe. So, in order for us to optimize the profitability of the operation, it was crucial for us to consider both the operational expense as well as the cost of installation for each of the pipe materials. On this slide, me and Travis are going to discuss the operational expense associated with each of the pipe materials. Now, what we really mean when we say the operational expense is really just the cost of operating the pump, which transports the brine through the injection line. In our analysis, we decided to include uh, two different pipe materials. First, the traditionally employed cement line carbon steel spool, which is susceptible to scaling. And second, the more innovative and non-scaling titanium clad pipeline. As Joe was just saying in the previous slide, we used our simulation software to determine how the scale deposits on the inner walls of the pipe as time goes on. Now, using this growth rate model, we were able to calculate how the operational expense uh, increases with time. So on the left-hand side, you can see the operational expense of the cement line carbon steel spool increasing exponentially as time goes on. On the right-hand side, you can see the non-scaling titanium clad pipeline having a constant operational expense as time goes on. Next, Travis will be discussing the cleanout frequency of the injection pipeline. As Chris just discussed, once we determined how the operational costs increase as time increased, it then became a question of when to initiate the $1.2 million cleanup. Our simulation showed us that the optimal amount of time between each cleanup to be 500 days. Next, Marwa will be discussing the projected costs of a cement spool against a titanium clad spool over a 30 year period. Last but not least, we performed a cost analysis of the original material of construction that is a cement line pipe and a non-scaling pipe such as titanium clad. For the titanium clad, the installation cost is $4.97 million over the length of the pipe, while the cement line pipe costs $2.25 million. However, as previously mentioned by Travis and Chris, due to scaling the cement line pipe, the plant needs to shut down every 500 days to perform at maximum efficiency. Therefore, we have a net loss, lost revenue of $1 million every 500 days and an additional $200,000 for labor. Looking at the graph, we can see that the first year, the upfront cost of the titanium clad is more than that of the cement line pipe, but it will take two and a half years to break even. After five years, we can see a jump in costs. Net saving, Net savings from use of the titanium clad pipe over 30 years will be $29 million. Thank you.